Hey beauties, it's Court. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, that was such a fake intro. I'm sad right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very sad. Today we're gonna be decluttering my palette collection. My goal is to get rid of at least five, which might not sound like a lot in comparison to how many palettes I have, which you will see very shortly. It's more than any person ever needs, but palettes are like my number one thing. Like they are my favorite. Palettes and brushes have always been the two things that I have been super attracted to. Some people are attracted to highlighters, some people have a crazy blush collection, some people have crazy children screaming in the background of their videos because they just can't help it because they have children. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy for me. We're gonna try though, and I know, I know I can definitely hit my mark of five. If I could get rid of 10, that would be phenomenal. So without any further ado, because I know this is gonna be a very long video, if you wanna watch me declutter my palettes, give your cute little ass my words at. <laughs> all right guys so here we go this is almost all of my palettes I'm gonna go ahead and show you this drawer right here we're not gonna do this drawer yet because it's smaller palettes I'm gonna dedicate a video to that drawer as well as my um, custom palettes I didn't include those in this uh, video either because I mean Jesus Christ I don't even know how I'm gonna get this video to not be an hour and a half long but I'm just gonna basically go through as quick as I can I pretty much know anything and everything there is to know about these palettes when it comes to my personal opinion let's just <laughs> let's just jump right in all right so we're gonna start out with some palettes that I know that I'm definitely gonna keep because I feel like that way we'll be able to get through this a little bit quicker uh, this is the new Kylie palette the peach one Oh man, I gotta get used to where this camera's at. Um, I just got this. I haven't even used it yet, so obviously that is gonna be a keeper. This one is new as well. It was just sent to me by a friend. It is, I forget what it's called. What's it called? The Too Faced Passionately Pretty Eyeshadow Palette. I believe this was a limited edition. It's like a glitter bomb, but I love the colors in it, so this is not going anywhere. And then we have the Urban Decay Electric, which will always be a part of my collection. Look how pretty. Too Faced Natural Matte. Oh, this is such a pretty palette, and I definitely used it quite a bit, but I feel like there's definitely palettes that I have these colors in, but I love collecting these little tin palettes from Too Faced, so we're going to put this in the maybe pile. Where are we going to make the maybe pile? Now you know at the end we go through the maybe pile and we make a cutthroat decision whether I'm going to keep it or not. Then we have the Too Faced a la mode eyes. I am, I, this is another one that's going to go in the maybe pile because I just don't use it. And I'm not crazy about the colors in it, but these little tin palettes are just so cute and they take the cutest pictures. This is the Bordeaux eyes. Oh my god, look at the packaging. It looks like a little mattress. It's so sexy. These are probably all going to end up in the navy pile. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And then Too Faced Cat Eyes. Oh, I haven't really used it. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And then we have the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. I am definitely keeping this. I fucking love this palette. It is beautiful. Why can't I get it in frame? And then we have the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, which oh, I've used the hell out of this. But I think, I think I'm going to let this one go. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. First one to go, Too Faced Sugar Pop. Definitely not letting go of this one. I love this little colorful palette. Um, then we have the Too Faced uh, Country Eyes palette. I love the colors in this one too. They're so pretty. I feel like this is, for being as small as it is, I feel like this is a really unique palette. So I'm definitely keeping that one. This one is from NYX. Um, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have any name or anything on it, but it's so badass looking with the studs. And the colors are very neutral. There isn't a lot going on in this palette, but I think I might keep it. I don't know, because it doesn't even photograph well because of the glare. So this is another one. I think I might have to let go of this one. This one was a gift and I really appreciated it when she gave it to me, but I just don't get much use out of it and I feel like she could find a better home somewhere else. And then we have the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. This is not going anywhere. This palette is amazing and I beat the hell out of this palette. And this one is from e.l.f. Uh, what is this? I don't even know. I think I have all these palettes like mixed up. Yeah, because this is their illuminating palette and it definitely didn't come with these colors in it. I'm pretty sure I took all four of my favorites from like all of these e.l.f. palettes and put it in this illuminating palette. So I'm going to go ahead and keep 
this one, but as for the other ones, and then this is their illuminating palette. This is kind of like the um, ambient pa uh, powders from Hourglass where they don't really have like a ton of, um, they have a lot of pigment, but ew, uh, there's pizza under my nail. That's so gross. They don't have like a ton of like sheen. They're very natural looking. So I think I'm gonna let go of this illuminating palette. This is how this palette came. And I also think I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep this one. It has a, it has two shimmery shades and then a matte blush and a matte bronzer. I'm going to keep this one. I like to have affordable options around. And then these two, like I said, these aren't how these come. I went ahead and customized all of these. These two I'm going to go ahead and get rid of as well. Oh my God, you guys. Those are my fourth and fifth palettes. I already hit my goal. I'm so excited. Yay. Let me get this pizza out from under my nail. This shit is disgusting. Okay, no more pizza under the fingernails. All right, so this was a 100-point perk from Sephora. This is the UD Vices palette. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I've never used it. It makes for cute pictures, but I just, I don't need it in this collection. It is, it's just too much, and it's overwhelming. Um, this is my Urban Decay Shadow Box. I always go back and forth with this one because the colors in it are so pretty, but I literally never ever reach for this. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well. Oh my God, I can't believe how many I'm getting rid of. Both of these, I can tell you right now I'm keeping. Uh, one of them is Dolly's Wild Side from Buxom. It's like the more purple one. If you have green eyes, this palette was made for you. And then this one is my custom palette that I put together myself. Buxom eyeshadows are so underrated and not talked about enough. I will never let go of those. This is not, I should have put this like in my smaller palette thing, but I'm excited about it because it's new and I wanted to show you guys that I got it. This is my Sweet Peach Glow palette. Definitely keeping this. I've really been enjoying it so far uh, since I've got it. I've only used it a couple times, but... I do really like it. And then this is from It Cosmetics. This is the You Sculpted palette. This is a great, great palette. And I actually put it up for sale. And when it didn't sell, I put it back in my collection and used it a tiny little bit more. You can tell it looks like it's barely used. They're really pretty shades. Um, it's a really nice palette. I just don't find myself reaching for it. I mean, it's nice, uh, but I just, I just don't use it. So this is going to go in the maybe pile because I'm not sure about it yet. Strobe of Genius palette from NYX. I love this highlighting palette. It's one of the best drugstore highlighting palettes, in my opinion, that has ever been made. And then we have two NYX palettes. Uh, they're the go-to palettes. One of them is in Wanderlust, which is the one on the bottom. And I love, love, love the quality and the colors in this palette. Definitely keeping this one. And then this one, I don't think I've ever even touched. And it was a gift. This is in Bon Voyage. Oh, it makes me sad, but I think I'm going to let go of this one. You guys, I'm so excited about how many palettes I got rid of already. This is the Not Just Nudes palette by Revlon. Mm, definitely getting rid of this. None of these palettes are good. I don't I, I don't know. I just feel like the drugstore, they're just not that great at getting eyeshadow palettes good. And I don't understand it because there's so many other amazing drugstore products out there that... I don't know why the eyeshadows are always just so hit or miss. So this is from Ish. I think that stands for something. I'm smoking hot, maybe. That's what it says back there. Uh, this is a contour palette. I'm going to let go of this. I got this in a subscription, I think. Or maybe somebody sent this to me from their subscription. I know this was in a subscription. This is from Tarte. And this was their blush palette from last year. The Bling It On blush palette. I was so excited to buy this. It's my first ever tart blush palette but i never use it and i don't know the colors in it just don't really appeal to me in the way that i thought that they would when i saw it online so oh my god it's so hard to let go of limited edition things when you're a collector like i am but i just don't use it and it's it's gotta go it's gotta go you gotta go i'm sorry and then we have the Beauty Killer Palette by whatever. This is, I love the colors in this palette. They're absolutely beautiful. And my name is in it, Courtney. But that's not the only Courtney eyeshadow out there anymore. Uh, I don't know about this one. This was such a generous gift. And I don't know, I really do like the colors. This is going in the maybe pile. This is their, what are you called? 
their Showstopper Clay Palette. This palette has uh, Park Avenue Princess and their highlighter. I forget what this is called, but I beat the shit out of this highlighter right here. I love it. I think this is a great palette to travel with. I mean, maybe someday I'll go somewhere and need to take a palette with me. I mean, it doesn't happen often, but it is, I feel like it would be a great little travel palette. And I really love the highlight blush and bronzer that are in here. And I love the packaging. So I'm definitely keeping this. Then we have my two Lorac palettes. We have the Pro and the Pro 2. Um, I also put my Pro, the Pro, I'm definitely going to keep just because I feel like this is a good palette to have in your collection with all like the basics and it has amazing pigmentation and it blends out really nicely. So I'm definitely keeping that. But the Pro 2 was another one that I put up for sale and ended up putting back into my collection. There's just a couple colors in here, like Rose, Snow, Nectar, Jade, and Cocoa, and Chrome. That's a really pretty one, too. If I could, like, pop those out and put them in their own little palette, I would. But I think I might just keep it, you know, keep it all together and send it off to a new home. All right, so let's tackle this pile next. First up, we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It's a classic. You know what it looks like. You've seen it. You might love it. You might not. I have mixed feelings about it, but... I just feel like it's a good palette to have in your collection and it's damn cute so I'm keeping it. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is a brand new palette. I have not even used this. Oh no, I lied. I have used this twice on my eyes. So I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Uh, I am definitely going to keep it obviously because it's brand new so I haven't even had a chance to get an opinion on it. Uh, this is the Too Faced Bonbons, Chocolate Bonbons. This one has beautiful colors but they just don't really... I don't know, they don't really appeal to me. I don't know if it's because it's more cool toned or what it is, but I'm going to, oh my God, this is so hard because the packaging is so cute, but I think I'm gonna let go of this one too. Look at this hollow fucking packaging. Oh my God, I almost wanna keep it just for that. But this palette, I hate, I don't like getting rid of gifts because you guys are so fucking generous, but I really don't think she'll mind. She knows I'm not, you know, it's not against Anybody personally when I get rid of something that was given to me as a gift It's just I don't use this palette the colors and it just don't appeal to me And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one Then we have the naked palettes. We have the original we have two and we have three I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get rid of two It's just not I mean my girlfriend beat the shit out of it, but it's not a palette that I ever use so naked two is going naked three I don't, I don't know. I just feel like, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I suck at eyeshadow. I highly doubt that because it's like my favorite thing in the world to do. But I just, I don't feel like the quality is on par with what Urban Decay is capable of. I mean, I have their Naked Ultimate Basics palette, which I have no idea where that's at. I don't see that in this pile. I think my girls got into some of my makeup because I know I'm missing a couple of palettes and I'm really upset about that. But just know that if I had my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, it would definitely, definitely be staying. Uh, but I think the Naked 3, I don't know, I think I, this is gonna go in the maybe pile too. I wanna look at what I'm keeping and 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 go from there, you know what I mean? And then the Urban Decay Naked Palette, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I like the colors in it. I think it's really pretty. It has a really nice range and I do like the quality of this one. Then we have the Kathleen Lights and Morphe Palette. This is also pretty new. I've used it quite a bit. It's not like the best palette in the world, but it's decent and I love the color range. I just wish the quality was a little bit nicer. I mean, this is, like one out of 10, I would give this maybe like a six, mostly for the color selection in it, but it does take a little bit of extra work. Then on the other hand, that is pretty affordable. So I mean, you know, you get what you pay for and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. This one's gonna be another one that's hard for me. This is the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. And while I absolutely love the colors that are in here, there's just so much glitter, like every shade almost. I think there's two shades in here that don't have glitter in them, right down to the bronzer, blush, and highlight. I bought it because I love Bunny and I really wanna support her because I really do. I just fucking love that bitch, but I just don't, I don't think I'm gonna keep this, you guys. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to put this up for sale and pass it on to somebody that will get more use out of it, somebody that absolutely loves glitter and She's going to a new home. Oh my God, you guys. This is my Violet Valse uh, Drenched Metal Eyeshadow Palette. This is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely staying here with Mama. 
And then we have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. This they just came out with last year in 2016. And I mean, I love the colors in here. I think it's a great selection uh, for being like a colorful palette. There isn't very many mattes. I think there might be, I think there's only two, if not, yeah, there's like two mattes in this entire palette. I don't know, they sent this to me and I could not be more grateful that they sent this to me. Getting PR from Urban Decay is like one of, it's like a high, like it's one of the most amazing feelings, but I just don't use this palette that much. I, I, I haven't used it enough yet though. I just haven't. I haven't used it enough and I want to keep it and I want to play with it more. And plus, I love taking pictures of it. You guys know whenever I do declutters, that's one of my like biggest justifications is that I like taking pictures of things. So let's tackle these real quick. This is the Morphe 35O and I don't know. I don't use it very much. I just don't reach for it. The the colors are just kind of, I love this color right here for a highlight though. I don't know. I, I might dissect this and take my favorites out of it because these two rows right here and then like this one and this one are really good but like all these neutral matte browns they just they don't really blend too well they're kind of chalky and I don't know I'm gonna keep it but I might end up dissecting it I don't know we'll see what happens and then this is the Morphe 35s and oh I, I like keeping this one around for like Halloween and you know like playful looks and colorful shit so I'm definitely keeping that one and then we have one from B Bella Cosmetics which is the 30 B 35 G I love this palette I love the color range in this Wish B Bella Cosmetics customer service was a little bit better, but I still do like this palette. It performs very well. The mattes actually um, are a little bit nicer than the mattes in the Morphe palette, even though I'm almost positive they're probably made in the same factory. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just in my head or what, I do like the mattes better in this palette than I do in my 35O. So this B35G from B Bella Cosmetics, I just, I don't use this palette. This is the color of the year. The eye radiant femme artistry set and it has some pretty cool colors in here but I just never ever reach for this palette it confuses me and I know they're all like into little quads but I'm not crazy about the quads that they're in and I just don't use it so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one we have the lime crime venus palette up next this is a really pretty palette I haven't really used it too much to give any thoughts on it but this was a gift and I definitely want to try it out more um this one I mean do I really need to say anything this is an amazing look I hit pan on two how, how many palettes have you seen me hit pan on so far I mean has there been any I don't think there's been any aside from this one so take that for what you will this is staying right the fuck here and then we have two more Anastasia three more Anastasia palettes actually we have this one which is the self-made palette this is another one of my favorites that she has ever done I love this palette the colors in it are just absolutely beautiful and then we have this one here, which is the Shadow Couture World Traveler. This was a limited edition palette. Pink Champagne, I fucking wrecked, but there's still a ton of product in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, just because I don't really use it. And then this is the Artist Palette. I believe this was limited edition as well. And the colors that I like in here the most are sold as singles. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this palette too. Cream Contour Palette from Anastasia. Definitely not getting rid of that because I love it. And then I have the Gleam Glow Kit, which is absolutely beautiful. I really do like these. I love that this was like one of the first, you know, like duochrome kind of shades. Look at that from the pink to the peach like gold that is so fucking beautiful. I love hard candy, it is so pretty. I really like Mimosa too, that's a really pretty one. Anybody wanna buy Starburst and Crush Pearl by themselves? Cause that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pop them two out, put these two in a Z palette and get rid of those two because the top two are the only two that are light enough for my skin tone. And while the bottom two are absolutely stunning, they're just too deep for me. So I'm gonna put it in the keep pile for now. And then we have the Moonchild palette from Anastasia. I still have it in its little sleeve. I'm definitely keeping this because if I have this palette, I don't ever need to buy another duochrome type highlighter again because literally every shade that could be done is in this palette. Even though I don't use it very much, if I'm ever feeling duochrome-y, I know I have that palette that I can reach for. Then we have the Nude Dude palette. I am not crazy about this. I just... 
It's just not a palette that I reach for. It's not a palette that excites me. It is good quality, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. This is a Forever 21 palette, the Ooh La La palette. I thought it would look pretty in, in pictures, and then I opened it and I was like, oh, those shades are pretty nice. And they actually don't perform half bad, and I think I paid like nine bucks for this, but I don't use it. It's too glary to really use in pictures, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one as well. And then we have the Tartlet in Bloom palette, which I absolutely love. I love the colors in here. I love the way it performs. It's completely different from the Tartlet palette. I hated, hated the Tartlet palette, but I love the Tartlet in Bloom. Then we have the Carly Bible palette, which the only reason I'm not going to get rid of this is... You know what? There is no reason, and I'm going to get rid of this. I just don't reach for it. Every time I try and use it, I feel like I have to blend for hours to get these shadows to blend, and then they just blend out into nothing. And I, don't, I honestly don't even know if it's worth the $14. This one's just going to go. I can't believe what good time we're making, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so Revolution Makeup. This is a highlight palette. It is so pretty. Look at them colors. This ain't going nowhere. This is... Their highlighter palette in highlight. That's all I can tell you. I know they have different shades. Then we have the LA Girl Glow palette. This is really pretty. It's got some nice shades in it. And then there's the Spice palette. I definitely prefer the Spice palette over the Glow palette, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the Spice palette and I'm going to let go of the Glow palette. And then we have this one right here, which it, this is Jody's fault. I bought this strictly for the packaging. I saw this on her account and I was like, oh my God, it has dried up roses in it. I love dried up flowers. I'm like obsessed with them. Never tried the eyeshadows. I don't know. I think I might have swatched like one or two of them, maybe. Beautiful colors. I'll probably never use this, but this is like a little collector's piece for me. I just think it's so beautiful. There's no way that I could get rid of that. And then we have the Benefit Cheekathon palette. I love this palette. I love it, you guys. I love all the shades in here. And the reason it looks untouched, but I still know that I love all the shades is because quite a few of them I have in single. But just having them all together in this, look, I mean, like, they're wearing the boxes. This is, like, the cutest little palette ever. I love all the shades in here, so I'm definitely not letting go of this. This one's going to be tough. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. I was so stoked that I was able to get my hands on this. And the color colors in here are so nice but I just never ever reach for this I just don't I just don't use it anymore and I think ew, it's so dirty I, I oh my god you guys I can't believe I'm gonna say this I think I'm gonna let this go I think I'm gonna get rid of this one This palette has nothing in it, so it's going in the trash. This was a China dupe that I bought. Um, I didn't realize it was a China dupe at the time. You know, we all live and learn. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and it is gorgeous. It performs wonderfully. I'm keeping this. I have to keep it. It's it's great, great quality, and I definitely don't want to get rid of it. This is the Kat Von D Monarch palette, and it is beautiful. I have not given it the attention it deserves, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. It's really pretty and it performs really well, so I'm definitely keeping it. And then this is the Smoked Palette from Urban Decay. And I think I'm going to let this one go. It just doesn't have colors in it that I use. Like, there are colors in here that I do really think are pretty, but I just never reach for this. I think I swatched it. Yeah, I think I swatched it and that was it. I never actually used it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. And then this one is the Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D. This one I just got not too long ago. This one is not going anywhere. Oh my God, look at that. That is definitely staying here with me. And then this is the Trolls um, Hard Candy Past the Glitter Palette. This is a terrible palette if you want to use it. I'm just being completely honest. Um, I'm keeping it 100% for the collector's value. Not, not that there's like really any, you know, value to it, but to me, it's trolls, and I love trolls. I think they're adorable, but these are basically little pods of Vaseline with glitter, like kind of sprinkled on top of them. Once you get over the overspray, there's absolutely no more glitter to them. You get like one use out of each pot, but I like it because it's fucking adorable, and I'm keeping it. Oh, shit. You see that? I'm on just sliding right over my own. All right, so this is the Mi Vita Loca palette, and I will never, ever, ever part with this palette. This is an amazing, amazing palette. You know what? That kind of makes me wonder if I want to keep the full spectrum palette now. 
Mm, I don't know if I need both of them. Let me see. What do you guys think? They're pretty, they're like kind of identical, but the Kat Von D one, the quality is just, it's way better. There's a lot more mattes, which are a lot easier to work with, especially with bright colors like this. This one, the Kat Von D one has like the neutrals in the middle. Shit. I think I'm going to let go of the full spectrum one. I wish I could sell it, <laughs> but I can't because it was given to me as PR. But I think I'm going to pass this one to somebody. I, I Oh my God, I can't believe it. Urban Decay, don't hate me. Oh my God, I hope they don't hate me. But this, I, I mean, I gotta, be, I gotta keep it real. This one just performs so much better, and I just, I don't feel like I need both of them in my collection. All right, we're down to the last few. This is a Mac. It says cream eyeshadow palette, but it actually has powder shadows in it, and they are terrible. I bought this at a flea market. It is a complete dupe. I'm going to empty the whole thing out eventually and turn it into a. Um, oh, can you see my boobies? Pika boobies and turn it into a magnetic um, customized palette type thing. But other than that, this is this is going. And then this is my this this came pre made at like a discounted price from Mac. Um, it's the Sculpt Something palette. I can never remember the name of it, but it's got like emphasize and sculpt and three blushes and then like a shimmery bronzer. This palette is fucking amazing and I love it and I need to put it up on my vanity so I use it more. And then the last and final palette we have is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini. Um, it's just like a smaller version of her Masquerade palette. I haven't even used this yet, but I just know already that I'm not gonna get a lot of use out of it. I honestly, this was an impulse buy. People rave and rave and rave about these shadows, but I feel like I have all these colors already and I just don't need this palette. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just resell it to somebody, you know, who would get more use out of it. All right, so this is what I ended up with in my maybe pile. Actually, no, this one I am keeping. I don't know. I guess it fell when everything fell. I had an avalanche happen earlier, so I guess that fell off the bed into my maybe pile. But I know this one is supposed to be... Blah, 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 blah. I know this one was supposed to be in there, so... Urban Decay Naked 3. I don't know. I can't decide. I never use it. It's got to go. It's got to go. I've used it a couple times. Somebody else could give it a better home, so I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so the natural matte palette. I'm trying to think if I have another all matte palette. What other all matte palette that I have, you guys? Well, we have this one. It's not all matte, but it has a lot of matte shades in it, but it doesn't have as many neutral matte shades as this one does, but... Did I keep my natural eyes? All right, so I'm gonna keep one of these. This one was already in the no pile. This one was in the maybe pile, but I wanna keep one. They're very similar palettes. You know what? I'm gonna go with the natural mattes. I'm gonna keep the natural matte palette and I'm still gonna get rid of the natural eyes palette. And then we have the Ala Mode palette. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get rid of it, guys. It's gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um. Maybe someday in the future, I'll get really into smoky eyes. See, that's why I get so afraid of getting rid of things because I don't know if my tastes are going to change or, you know, maybe I could do makeup as a profession someday. I don't really plan on it, but, and I also have a channel that I like to keep things for and have a variety of things. So I'm keeping this because it's a nice smoky eye palette. And since I kept my um, Kat Von D shade and light palette, I'm going to get rid of this It Cosmetics palette. And then last but not least, we have the Beauty Killer palette. I will never use this on my channel, but it has one of the best hot pink eyeshadows in it that I've ever used. And hot pink is a very, it's a tough color to do well. So I, this shade right here though, this, this rich bitch shade fucking sucks. This violent shade fucking sucks. Unfortunately, this confession shade fucking sucks. This vanity shade sucks, but... Expensive, Star Power, Princess, Courtney, Black Rainbow, and China White all perform really nicely. I don't even like to say that anything from him is any good, so I'm just going to stop talking about it, and I'm going to keep this. I'm sorry my bed's not made. <laughs> I wasn't going to make it just for this video, but that is my pile of keep. But, you know what's even more impressive? I'm going to show you the pile of stuff that I am getting rid of.
speaking of babies, I know you hear my other one crying. I think she fell down, so Mama's got to go kiss some boo-boos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're proud of me. Let me know down in the comments what you would like me to declutter next. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.